Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this screencast in which we are going to find out the YTM of a bond, the yield to maturity by using the hit and trial method. For this purpose, we have assumed a set of data. Uh, let's look at it. The current price of the bond B0 is given to us $900. The coupon rate is given to us 5% per annum and there are three years remaining to maturity. The face value of the bond is $1,000. So the first thing that we need to do is to find out the coupon amount. We all know how to find out the coupon amount. We apply the coupon rate, which is 5%, to the face value. So we find out 5% of $1,000, and that is going to give us $50. So $50 is the coupon amount, which we can now use in our equation for bond valuation. In the equation for bond valuation, the left-hand side is the price of the bond, which is already given to us, $900 here. So let us begin writing the values in the equation. $900, the price of the bond is equal to the coupon amount, which is $50. We calculated that just now, $50 multiplied by the present value interest factor of the annuity at K% percent for uh, what is the time? The time is given to us here, three years. So let's just write three years here. Uh, you will observe that we haven't put a value for k percent here because that is what we are supposed to find out. When we find out the value for this k, that would be our YTM. So let us now close this bracket. Close the bracket so that we can separate this term from the second term. We put a plus sign and then we start writing the second term and in which we write down the face value of the bond or the maturity value of the bond, $1,000, and multiply that by, since it's a lump sum, we multiply this by PVIF, present value interest factor, at uh, K percent, again, for three years. So this thing is set up. Let's close the bracket, and we now have to solve for K by using the hit and trial method. Now, observe this coupon rate which has been given to us, 5% per annum. You will realize that if we use the same rate here as the discount rate, so we, if, we, if we use the 5% rate at, at the discount rate, then the value that will be returned to us here on the left-hand side will be $1,000 because we know that when the coupon rate of interest is equal to the discount rate or the market rate of interest, then the face value of the bond is equal to the price of the bond. So therefore, without solving, we can know that by using 5% discount rate, which is the same thing as the coupon rate, the value of our bond will be $1,000. But we don't want a value of $1,000. It has been given to us already. It's equal to $900. So if we want to reduce the value of the bond from 1000 to 900 what we need to do is to raise our rate of interest. So since at 5% rate of interest the value will be $1,000, therefore to return a value of less than $1,000 we need to use a higher discount rate and that is where the arbitrary process starts. That is why the name hit and trial method. We have to try various discount rates and find out the value of the bond at those discount rates. At whichever discount rate the bond value comes closest to 900 that rate of interest is going to be our YTM. So you could start with any rate of interest of your choice. You could start with 6%, you could start with 7%, you could start with 8%. Let us start with 8%. So let's find the value of the bond at 8%, bond value at 8% rate of interest. So our B0 at 8% rate of interest, let us solve for that, is equal to $50, the coupon payment, times the present value interest factor of the annuity at K%. percent. We are assuming a K of 8% for three years. So in the tables, we are going to go and look for present value interest factor of an annuity at 8% for three years, which gives us a value of 2.577. Let us put this thing in bracket and then go ahead and write our second term which begins with $1,000 maturity value multiplied by the present value interest factor of $1 at 8% for 3 years. We have assumed a rate of 8% and the time is known 3 years. So let's find out the present value interest factor 
of one dollar at eight percent for three years which is equal to zero point seven nine four let's close the bracket and work out these terms fifty times two point five seven seven is going to give us one twenty eight point eight five plus thousand times point seven nine four is going to give us seven ninety four so we take the sum of these two terms and the value that is returned to us is 922.85 which is still higher than the $900 that we want. So since we further want to reduce our value from 922.85 to 900 we will have to use a still higher discount rate. So let us go to the next discount rate then and resolve for the value of the bond at 9%. So since you know how to find out the value of the bond, I am just going to simply give you the result here. If you find out the value of the bond at 9%, you are going to get this answer. You can verify it later on your calculators. 898.55. So $898.55 is the value of the bond at 9%. And we observe that it has fallen below our desired value of $900. So at the rate of 8%, the value of the bond is above the desired value. At the rate of 9%, the value of the bond is below the desired value. Therefore, the YTM lies between 8% and 9%. And what exactly it is that we can find out through the process known as interpolation for which step number one is to find out the absolute difference between the lower, uh, between the value of the bond at the lower um, discount rate and the higher discount rate. So the value of the bond at the lower and the higher discount rates we have calculated this one and this one here. Let's take the absolute difference between them. 898.55 and the absolute difference will be 24.3. The second step in interpolation is to find out the difference, the absolute difference between the desired value and the value of the bond at the lower discount rate. So the desired value is $900 and the value of the bond at the lower discount rate is 922.85. So let's take the difference between 922.85 and $900 which will be equal to 22.85. And step 3 is to divide the result of step 2 which is this with the result of step 1 which is this. So let us do that computation quickly, 22.85 divided by 24.3 and that will return us 0 0.94. And step 4 is simple, just add the value that you obtained in step 3 to the lower discount rate. Lower discount rate is 8%, so 8 plus 0 0.94 is going to give you 8.94% and that is your YTM for this scenario. Thank you very much ladies and gentlemen for watching this screencast. Hope it was helpful for you.